This is Matt Gleaves with the Griffin News. Welcome to the first official Griffin News football preview with the sports editor here, Thomas. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing good. This week we got Missouri Western and Missouri Southern. Uh, Missouri Western coming off of a 41-20 loss last week. Uh, defense played particularly well in the first half, but not very well in the second half, Tommy. No, they couldn't win it in the second half. Turnovers were just too much. First half they had more of the turnovers, but in the second half it overwhelmed them. So they couldn't get off the win. Also struggled with the turnovers um, as far as Travis Partridge is concerned. Uh, two interceptions on the night. Um, no fumbles or anything. Uh, Mike Hill had another solid game. Uh, 70 yards rushing. Uh, Partridge with 165 yards passing, two touchdowns, and two picks. But this week it's definitely going to have to be more. Yeah, well, the interceptions last week were tipped off the receiver's hands. Just fluke plays. One interception was his fault, and that changed the game. And his, and his coach even said that that was the change in the game. So if he can get that fixed, we'll see what they can do. Okay, now leading off of that, we're talking about the receivers, how big of a key is TJ Fanning going to have to be, you know, we, we talked about, you know, that he is one of the fastest guys on the team. TJ. You've got to find ways to get him the ball. Yeah, TJ has to be big. He's according from offense and special teams because last week field position was a huge factor. TJ was averaging 41 yards, I think, on a return. So if he can do that, they have great field position. Being a team like Southern wouldn't be as hard as it was on the road against Washburn. Now with Southern, what what is going to be their their bread and butter? What they're going to be looking to do to the Southern is defense. It's de this is going to be one of those hard nosed football games. You like low scoring football games? You're probably going to like this one. It's probably going to be 20 to 17, 20 to 14. They have the best MIAA player in the nation, Brandon Williams. He's probably Coach Parsons already said he's going to be in the NFL next year. So. If they can stop him, and the offensive line hasn't played that well so far, if they can stop Brandon Williams, though, they'll win this football game. All right, now last year and the year before, Missouri Southern has been a huge pain in Western's side. Um, 2009, here at home, Western blew a huge fourth quarter lead, ended up losing the game 35-33. Last year went down, could not get anything started, only scoring six points. What do they have to do this year to change that? The difference between the last two years and this year, and I've talked to Reggie about this, the defense. He believes this is one of his best defenses. And this year, they won't give up as many points as they have in the past. So they won't give up 35. They won't give up 23. And he loves his defense. He really loves his secondary. He's got a young team, fast, junior, sophomore starters. And he believes they can go down to Southern and get a win because of that. So if they can help him out with the defense, the game's going to be a lot less scoring, and Western's offense will be able to pull out the game. Okay, now, with all that being said, who do you have this week and why? Western wins it this week 21-17 because the defense doesn't give up as many points as they normally have to Southern. And Travis Partridge has four games under his belt. He's been on the road against a better team in Washburn. He won't be as bad this week as he was last week. They'll win by four. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you there. I'm going to take Western 14-10, to 10, um, you know, with Southern's defense being so strong. Western having a good defense this year with David Bass. Ben Peaster coming back after that one-game suspension. You know that he's probably going to be motivated. The secondary is playing a lot better. Um, you know, like you said, Partridge has that. He's kind of got the, you know, those first four games out of the way, you know, first year as a starter. I think he's going to start finding his receivers a little bit more, get it in the hands of T.J. Fannin. Um, but it's also going to be a low-scoring game because defense is going to dominate it. And another thing is Terrell Downing's turf toe injury. It's not nearly as a factor as it was the first three weeks. So look for Terrell to have a big game. For the Western Football Preview, this has been Matt Gleaves. And Thomas Hewitt-Johnson. Catch us next week whenever we preview Western and Lincoln.